I've always felt like an outcast my whole entire life. It's been embarrassing for the whole YouTube community. So there was like rumors going around, that, not rumors, like the actual thing, like people, Jake was saying that- Holy shit, that's just such a dick thing to say. I would never say that about anybody, even if I did. If someone dates you who's over 18 and you guys sleep together- Who are you helping by bringing someone down? Are you gonna feel good about yourself when all the drama dies down and the numbers are gone? When I first met you guys, I thought you were 20, and I started touching your bodies inappropriately. Yeah. Turns out you're 17. 17. 17, yes. By the way, hi, my name is Casper Lee, and these are the Dolan twins. What's up? Eth Grayson, Grayson and Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. Sorry, I, I do that as a little joke. Do you know what I actually wrote down in my notes earlier? I wrote down, uh, Grayson has the earring. Yeah. Really? really good. Yeah. That would make uh, it are, we, are we looking at cameras or no? No, okay. I want this to be completely... There's no cameras there. Just us. Okay, cool. No one's even watching. Uh-huh. Well, they will this week because you're on yeah. the show, but usually no one's watching. <laughs> no one's ever watching, it's just cameras. Isn't yeah. it weird how cameras change everything? Yeah. Does it change you? Oh, wait, that's too deep, too quick. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's into it. The Dolan Twins are, I guess, one of the biggest YouTube channels in the world. Um, you're quite new to YouTube compared to, I say, Joe and KSI, who I've previously interviewed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into the five F's with you, or is it four F's? I don't know. Grant isn't here to help this week, guys, so this could be a big fuck up, um, or it could go really well because he usually messes things up either way. Grant, can you control the weather? I'm doing my best. Please, the exposure on the cameras keep changing, and I don't want to look white. I'm looking for a new girlfriend, all right? I know what the five F's are. The first F is freedom. Freedom. Oh, no, no, it's finances. Fine, okay. Ooh, are you guys media trained, by the way? Does that mean media, media trained? trained? Yeah. What does that mean? Like okay, basically, in the UK, YouTubers get media trained, and uh, we're taught not to talk about money, really, because people hate people with money in, in England. Okay, it's like, I, I just don't really talk about money in general. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's, uh, I don't know. It's irrelevant to life. I mean, yeah. as yeah. much as it has to be relevant, because it, like, mm -hmm. that's why you, there's no reason you can, like, basically do what you want. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. But like, if you yeah. want, if you want something, you guys are freaking media trained without it's, even knowing. You media trained each other. I it's guess. gonna. If you want something, it's gonna cost something. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. yeah. But I just, if money was like irrelevant, you could just trade stuff. That'd be so sick. Yeah, yeah. Imagine like, that. Can I get? Can I get deeper? Is that okay? A little bit. Yeah. I know. I was just like talking the other day with Grayson. Oh shit! You're not Grayson. No. That's great. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Even. We're kind of like realizing <laughs> that money is kind of ruining, like in a sense, ruining the meaning of life. Like there's people that aren't having families and kids yeah. because they just don't have enough money to support a family. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's literally like you're, you're put here to live, I mean find your purpose and reproduce. Like reproduce is like one of the main things. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds all serious. As a human. Yeah. But like literally like people are not having kids because mm -hmm. of like, yeah. their like financial The, the average is... Uh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's your interview. I'm gonna get yeah. shouted out by Grant yeah. if I interrupt you. So the you guys the average age, like back to have kids, was like in the early 20s, yeah. mid 20s. It's like the healthy age to have a, a kid and start a family, but like now it's like becoming like 30s, mid 30s, which isn't a bad thing. You know, you have to do it when you're ready. Yeah, it's all because of money. Like people are afraid to start yeah. families and like you know. You guys are young. You made a lot of money. I'm assuming. And I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, don't, I mean <laughs> I'm not gonna bring it up. I don't like it either. Yeah, I'm yeah. not that kind of guy. I, I think you guys know that. But I know. I just never really understood money, and I think that that helped me in a way, and it also didn't. I don't. I just really, I really could care less about it. Yeah. I've done things in the past that, are, you know, like everyone goes through the phase where, like, oh, I want to get something expensive and feel cool, but like, mm -hmm. it's so stupid. Pointless. I'm so over all I mean, that. Look at this ring. I, I'm guilty. I have I, one too. Yeah, yeah, bro. What's the point of this? Exactly. You can like, go on a vacation instead of buying that. Man, man. <laughs> no, no, maybe I'm not on the same level as you. Okay, okay, okay. But I'm I saying mean, I could go on a vacation to Manchester you from can, London. Okay. No, no, but say, say, say it's a. Like, you can make a yeah. memory instead no, of yeah, yeah, make a memory, you know. Well, this is an independence ring for me. Okay. Um, if it means something to you and yeah. like it reminds you of something, that's so basically that's important. In the Victorian era, you would put a ring on your pinky to tell people that you didn't want to get married. You don't want. Me, I don't want to get into another relationship for a while, so I have to remind myself because I get into them really quickly. You should um, just get like not looking for a significant other tattooed on your tattoo. Tattoo on my head. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. And then like by the time tattoo removal is like easy, you'll you'll be able to. I feel like YouTubers are gonna start doing that soon for views. Probably tattoos on their face. Dude, mar marriage videos are huge now. What right? do you think about that? I don't. I, don't I think we're gonna make one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the Americans and how they portray their money on YouTube? Because it's pretty crazy what's happening right now. Like what people are talking about on yeah, YouTube. I don't know what they're doing it for. I feel like it's gonna make people feel like they need to be on that level one day, or or mm -hmm. have enough money to just drop on a expensive car. 
and that's really not what life's about. Yeah. To me, it's like memories. They're the most valuable. Yeah. Thing. I mean, I'd rather live in like a little like shack on a farm. Yeah. In my hometown. Than no, you guys aren't bullshitting me though. Uh, I I know you guys. I mean, I don't know you that well, but from what I've seen. Yeah. I mean, we got deep fast. Yeah. We, we got, got like, pretty deep last time. We over yeah. a bowl of chipotle. <laughs> and yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> and Ollie White. You, you could even. I've never gotten that deep with Ollie before. You guys brought something out of him. Really? I'm just super deep, yeah, because, no, I don't know. I I think way more than I should probably mm -hmm. daily. That's what we saw in your video, which I want to talk about. Um, but going back to this, because you guys are pretty good at avoiding it, I guess. And I like the fact that you don't like like bring talking about other people in bad ways, which mm -hmm. is I guess yeah, what definitely. you don't want to do. But I think when it gets to the point where you have these little kids watching these YouTubers, and I think the majority of the ones who are popping the most, I've seen, I, I walked around with some of them and I see their audience and they're tiny and they're young and they're, that's great. And I guess it's not up to you to pick your audience, but they're, 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 they're portraying a lifestyle like rappers do. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, it makes me even upset when I'm watching yeah. it. And I have a pretty awesome yeah. life and I have, like, I'm financially free and all of this and I still look at that and I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? <sighs> I don't know, I don't want to sound like, I'm not salty. It's a good you know, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I can literally say that yeah. I'm not jealous of anybody. I'm happy for all their success. I just wish that they would use it in better ways sometimes. Like I, like flexing to like a 12 year old demographic. It's, it's portraying that, like, a false sense of reality that yeah. is like unattainable. Like you don't need even, it. Even for them, because there's some people that I'm like, there's no way that you're in that yeah. comfortable of a, of a financial position to do what you're yeah. doing, thank you. <laughs> And so uh, it's like a lot of it's rented or hired and yeah, exactly. a lot of it is just financial mistakes and people don't understand inflation either. I think you guys get that whole thing. Like if you're buying something now, guys, this is a little advice. That money you're spending on it, if it's going to devalue, it's like it's going to be worth so much more in the future if you kept it and yeah. you invested it. Mm -hmm. Tenfold. Like yeah. what was a million dollars 20 years ago worth compared to now? Yeah, so exactly. I think it's very similar to athlete, professional athletes. Yeah. Child stars, all of that. It's very interesting. I've been in meetings while I've been here. Um, not trying to brag. Meeting some people, <laughs> and um, they they've noticed it, and they're like, it's it's a bit, it's a bit embarrassing for the whole YouTube community. It's not, I'm I'm not embarrassed by it. I'm happy for everybody. Okay. Like I guess I just wish that people would use the influence that they have, especially these little kids who like. When I was little, I watched YouTube. I looked up to these like these YouTubers like, and I did what they did. You know, that's why yeah, I started yeah. creating videos. That's part yeah. of the reason why I started creating videos. I wanted to like be like them. Is that, I want is to that why you stole brain freeze from me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, why. You obviously, like, these people have to know. Like, there's 12-year-olds watching them, or however old they are, but, like, that could be, like, the main chunk of the demographic. And that's, like, yeah. the one part where, like, kids are, like, learning who they are, and, you know, you can mold someone's brain. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you teach them, like, hey, like, you need to have this gold watch on your wrist when you're older, it's like, what? For what? For yeah. what? Like, I'd rather, I'd rather tell the kid, like, hey, man, work hard, be there for your family, your friends, mm -hmm. you know? Be supportive to others. That's the key to having a good life for me. Yeah, that's I, what I, I you think that all the, the flexy stuff like comes from insecurities that people just don't want to face. Mm -hmm. So they do things to distract themselves from like you know like becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. So they think that having all these materialistic items will be make them become a better person when it's really just I yeah. think they're backtracking. It's, yeah. it's it's all about insecurities. And I mean at the end of the day, everyone's insecure. I, I'm like, I'm a confident person, yeah. but I'm definitely insecure. I'm yeah, very insecure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some people just don't admit that to themselves, so they don't work on themselves. Yeah. If they're if they're lying to themselves. There's nowhere to start. You have to start with the truth. You have I to. I think you guys watching at home will look at these guys. Maybe if you've never seen them f before for some weird reason, and you'll think, "Oh, they're two good-looking guys. They're on YouTube. They're probably pretty phony and stuff." But like, they're not. And it, it's. I, I find it so interesting how you guys became like this because you moved to LA when you were how old, or you started Vine when you were how old? And 14. 14. We moved here when we were 15. And you didn't get into the scene with like how? I've always felt like an outcast my whole entire life, and I, I talked about it in one video that when I was in like. Literally preschool, like, fa like parents wouldn't let their kids hang out with us because we were too crazy. I, I really don't think that we were even that crazy. It, it just, it was weird. Um, I was like wanted to like, like let them in and like be friends with them, but mm -hmm. it was just like I was kind of stuck alone with Ethan. So <laughs> yeah, well, like, like, which I can't complain about because like <laughs> if I didn't have him, like, like what were, what would yeah, I do? But in know? like in like second grade, very young, and I know it's very young, but I was sitting in my backyard and I was literally just like thinking because we were about to move to a different town and I was mm -hmm. like. I don't think I'm gonna fit in like anywhere I go. Even having like an identical twin, you feel like you yeah. I mean, like we it was just you just oh so when you say I, you mean both of you. Both of us, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like we wouldn't fit in any, awesome anywhere. We, anywhere, yeah. It is. Like thank God. Yeah. I would be like literally screwed if I didn't have him. That's but so cool. what does fitting in really mean? Are you even being yourself if you're fitting yeah. in? Yeah. I feel like everyone is different, and like the people who fit in are just like trying to be someone that they're not, so they're all like doing it together. And mm -hmm. 
it's also a lot like of parties and drugs and alcohol and I don't do any of that stuff. I don't know, man. There's people out here whose jobs it is to like bring people to to parties and stuff like that. And everyone, that's what my friend Mikey used to do. <laughs> it's like don't ruin someone's life. Oh yeah. And like underage people bring. That's like people used to ask me when I was 15, like let's, let's go out, like let's go have fun, like at a party. I'm like, why don't we go have fun and go surf? Yeah. And, and go in the ocean and, and like go kart yeah, and do stuff like. I must admit, I went out last time and I got a freaking headache and still haven't got any of my head, my head pills. Oh, the Advil. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Maybe you'll man. learn your lesson. <laughs> no, That's good. I'll get you Advil. No, I'm this. kidding. You're, you're 23. You can, <laughs> you can do what you want. It's weird. Sometimes I get no hangovers the other time. When I hang when I hang out with you, I just get a hangover because I look at you and I'm like, what is wrong with me? You guys are, you guys have only drunk water the whole your whole life. Never had anything else, have I you? I mean, I've, I've had we a lot of soda. I know, I've never tried alcohol. Don't lie. I'm not even kidding. No, no, I mean, I've sipped my like, parents when I was like, I was like, no. can you try your beer? Yeah, yeah, just that's a weird thing. Like. When I've I'm never from, been we start drinking at like anything. 14, and like, it's, yeah. yeah. But the first game is gonna help me help you. See what I did there? Cute. Judge people. I've never really done this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you pictures of people, and I want you to tell me what you think. Sounds good. Rice gum. Okay. Um, I think he's creative. Yeah. For the most part, like very creative. Definitely. I was broke, but I'm living in the hills now. I was crazy, but this ice made me chill out. In the beginning, I really liked his videos, and I mean, I know what he does is a joke. Mm-hmm. Really know. It's like sketchy talking about like. Yeah, I don't want to speak too much. I don't want to get roasted, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I maybe feel like incorporated some more like positivity into some of his videos. Mm -hmm. That'd be sick. It's funny because when he was out, we were walking around the mall, and like it was crazy because he's just he's everywhere right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's and huge. every single person who came up to them, like he, I, I've seen it before with people uh, when in a mall, especially they, they want to be careful and stuff, and that's fair enough, and they don't want to take photos with everyone. But he took a photo with every single person, which is so interesting how I you see that. these people. Yeah. And it's like KSI as well is kind of similar. And all that stuff happening right now is crazy and drama. And it's weird. I was hanging out with him and people were like, Casper, how the hell can you do that? I'm like, you don't know what people are like in real life. But then again, you also would like people to portray certain elements that are more positive, I guess. I still get really awkward when, when someone comes up. Like, not that I get awkward. It's just like, I forget. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes I'll hear like someone scream from behind me. I'll be like, oh, sh oh yeah. like. <laughs> Because they watch you every day, maybe they interact with you every day, and you're a friend to them. Exactly, yeah, And that's yeah. legit, that, that, you feel that as and well. And I want them to feel like that, and I feel like that too. But you've never met those people yourself, so it's, it's a bit... We do have, like, haters too, and I've been confronted by haters in public and things like that, and they take videos to try to, like, you know, yeah. catch me doing something or, or make me look bad, because people just want to make people look bad for some reason. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be like followed in my car and I'm like, I don't know who it is. Like, is yeah. it a hater or someone trying like, to try throw eggs at me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no clue. So like, it's, it's weird. Careful. And yeah. yeah, I don't know if someone's messing with me. I don't know if someone's mm. like actually genuinely like We got to... a, a few like high speed chases. Like, Shit. you know, luckily they turn out to be fans, but you know, we're always like, kind of, no, it's not, <laughs> oh, this, is, this, is, this is back home. I love America. But I'm just saying, okay, so if, <laughs> if you do see us yeah. and you're in a car, yeah. please do not risk Anyone's life, yeah, and put yeah, lives yeah. in danger. It's not like a high speed chase, just but like for a yeah. not a high speed chase, but like <laughs> I'm going just, to like my grandma's house, and like I don't and want I, my grandma's address to be leaked. I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> something happened to me. Uh, like I was in Copenhagen recently, and I was walking around, and I had like it was meeting viewers, and it was awesome. And then I had to get somewhere for a meeting. This girl came up to me, and she's like, "I'm from Turkey. I've been watching you for five years." And I was like, awesome. And I was in such a rush. And I must say, I gave her the least amount of my time of that day. And then later I go on Twitter and uh, I realized that this is Celine. She's a girl who's been watching me for five years. I know her, but I couldn't recognize her because her avatar on Twitter wasn't the same. And I haven't seen her in a while. And it was horrible because I upset her so much. I wanted to know if you've ever had that kind of experience where you maybe upset like a viewer. Oh yeah, and yeah, no, in Australia actually. So the, we, Australia is the crazy. We, we were on yeah. tour and they literally wouldn't let us go into the airport when we got off the flight. Because yeah. you, you can, in Australia is like a, like the they airport's kind of like tarmac, a mall. Right? Yeah, 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 they took us off on the tarmac oh and they, God, they insisted. And I knew that people were gonna come because they knew that we had the flight that day. Yeah, I knew they were gonna yeah. come to the airport to say what's up. They had signs and everything. And we literally couldn't go into the airport, they, yeah. they wouldn't let us. We did a, a show there called Hit the Road, um, a tour there, and um, we had to go on the tarmac. Yeah, that's what so we So they made a hashtag, Casper, Joey Casper hit the tarmac. There was, there, there was a picture of like, all these fans like flipping us off and stuff, and I know like, I know they didn't mean they it. Apologized. Really. They apologized. They apologized. I saw them later that night. They apologized. Like it, it's cool. Like, Each I, I one of them individually in the meet and greet apologized, yeah. and I was like, "Thank you." Like uh, honestly, like I'm but, like yeah. an easygoing guy. I don't care about that. But like we weren't allowed to see them legally. Like everyone, like the the, yeah. the officers and stuff at the airport were like, "You guys cannot walk out yeah. there because you can put people's lives in danger. Like yeah, little kids can get trampled and stuff like that." It makes us look bad. And like yeah. I, I would love to go say hello to everybody. Yeah. You know, they're there for me. Like that's still I don't understand that yeah, feeling. Yeah. It's it's like so surreal. But um, I have another picture. Yeah. 
Martinez Swins. Yeah. Wait, I don't know them personally. What happened with all of that? Because I heard a lyric in a song. Um... I saw like there was like a leaked like second verse thing, and it was like uh, Jake tried to sign us and then like sign them instead. Yeah. yeah. You match his cuts, you couldn't sign the dole list. They're smarter than you, so you had to replace them with some Spanish twins. <laughs> Jake, um, never, Jake tried never tried to, to sign us. us. That's like, all. Yeah. There's something in his book too that says something like how he. Yeah, I've seen screenshots how, on Twitter. How he like uh, we were his like test. Experiments. People. And he like fl like flew us out to LA, which he didn't. And then like, the happened, like he did let us stay with him, and we made content with him and all this stuff. And we had fun. Yeah. You know, like Jig was a, a great friend of ours. I still like I still believe the kid like is is a good person. Like you know, deep down, uh, deep down, um, there's some things that I've seen that I don't agree with. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he said some things like you know like privately like to other people who I know about us that I I don't <laughs> I just don't know why yeah. I said it. It's interesting because if you maybe I don't know how the contracts work, but if you sign something, you can yeah. No, we were never we were never gonna with us a contract. Anyway. I think the whole Team Ten thing started probably two years after we started mm -hmm. doing everything. When we first came out, we were literally just making content as friends. Yeah. Because none of us had friends. We were like Viners. Yeah, yeah. Vine was a new platform. We're yeah. like and we were the we're youngest. All leaving we, were, high we were the youngest dude. So we yeah. were fifteen or fourteen. Jake was seventeen. He was already. You should have told me that before I touched your so, abs. Yeah. <laughs> something that I'll say I am appreciative. Yeah. About though about Jake. Um, yeah. When I was going through like, a really tough time at school, like leaving school, like people were picking on me, like and, and whatnot. I would talk to him about it, and really? he like he like experienced like a lot of the same things. And uh, even like teachers would pick on us. I remember one of my teachers pulled me to the front of the classroom because I got a new watch, really? and he like he said, "All right, now who in this class would ever wear a watch that looked like this?" Because it was like pretty big, yeah, and no yeah, one raised yeah. their hand. Everyone started laughing at me because like everyone like would obviously like if they got the chance to like make fun of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a week later, I got a new haircut, and he pulled yeah. me up to the front of the class. He goes, "Look at this haircut. Who would ever get this haircut?" Like literally coming out of a grown man's mouth about a, I was what, fourteen yeah. at the time. No, he did. He did help me through that. Okay. So people have so many different sides to them, and you kind of you look at one narrative, yeah. and that's all that people want to see. So there was like rumors going around, not rumors, like the actual thing. Like people, Jake was saying that. He like he blew us up. Him and Logan blew us up and stuff like that. And we did. We came out. Jake was very kind. Let us stay at his place. Yeah. You know, showed us kind of the ropes and like how to do all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I remember him like helping me, like showing me how to edit vines and stuff like that. That was amazing. Yo, you got my money, man. But that was my twin brother, dude. I give me my money. We, I think I had 200 followers, 200,000 or 300,000 followers on Vine. Yeah. Ethan had like you know 100,000 less, whatever it was. We gained like 200k within that two week or like that. The next two weeks after we like posted with him, so I went from like 300k to almost 600k. Ethan went from like 200k to yeah. almost 500k, which was crazy. You know, like we were like high on life, like everything was amazing. Our videos weren't doing that far off from each other, like mm -hmm. to begin with. Yeah, and like, our, our, like it wasn't like we were, it wasn't like we were just random kids who Jake found and was like, "You guys, yeah. come with me. I have an idea." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like we we were all creators, and it was like that. Th that wasn't the vibe. The vibe wasn't I'm gonna blow you up and like. Mm -hmm. And you know, become is make this, this a business. Vine. This was on Vine, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah, sorry. Uh, Vine going was probably the worst thing that ever yeah. happened to me. And again, all not, the Vine stars killed us. <laughs> and again, not to bring up numbers, but like when we first moved out, I had probably somewhere around like hundred something thousand followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Ethan had the same. Jake had probably like four hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. But we were getting the same amount of likes, yeah, yeah. if not more. If not, so, we were getting more. But like that doesn't matter to yeah, me. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember just saying, yeah. saying it's a bit of bullshit if someone says well, that they made us sign yeah. someone to make you because like yeah. Because yeah. what's crazy about that whole thing is because I one of my things is I surround myself with talented people, really good people. And I was lucky enough to be brought up by a bunch of people, and we all bring each other up still. Yeah, that's that's what the vibe was. was they, everyone bring each was. other up. If they ever said they made me, I'd be like, yes, but holy shit, that's just such a dick thing to say. I would never say that about anybody, even if I did. Yeah. Like, well, you, no, you, I, didn't you, I didn't make you. Your mom you your you. mom made you, yeah. you know? How, how do you make someone? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. He was a big help, okay? Jake, yeah. like, big help. I think, well, we've actually spoken a lot about people, so yeah. I think we can move on to the next F. At what point are people going to realize that all of this YouTube drama is fake? Everything's fake. Yeah. It's a lot of just hype because people like drama. They're mm -hmm. like, it's just want. entertaining. It's, I mean, even me, like when all this drama is going on, like I, I'm just like bored. I have nothing else to do. I hop on YouTube. I'm like, oh, but it's, it's entertaining. Not, it's thoroughly entertaining. But yeah. like, it's not, it doesn't make me feel good. It makes me feel like shit actions. after. But it's also not, it's also not going anywhere. Like, yeah. what are you, what direction are you moving towards by just creating drama? Like, Who are you helping by bringing someone down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, I mean, I. Are you, you going to feel good about yourself when all the drama dies down and the numbers are gone? In negative situations, that. there are positive things to be learned. Mm -hmm. Like, you can look at it and say, I'm never going to do that to someone. That's like that's how I look at it. If you're learning from the negatives, I, I'm thinking about starting a compliment track trend where we all have to compliment each other. The sad things. thing is, like, people aren't interested in that stuff. No you know what I mean? Do you have to be fake to do what you do? 
uh, when I watch like people's videos and they're happy and laughing and shit, like I, it makes me like happy. You know, mm -hmm. when I'm like, when I see someone smile on the video, it makes me smile. So that's one thing I took note of, and like I was like, okay, so I want to be like really happy in videos and make people laugh. But like once, you know, everyone gets stressed out when you're filming and you're like, anxious and you're stressed and you're still laughing. You know that that yeah. smile becomes fake. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there's sometimes where I turn the camera off and be like, yo, do we like fake laugh too much? Yeah. Just like, when yeah. you think about what you're gonna say too much, it's not like in the moment. Like in the moment, things make you laugh. Yeah. And when there's a camera on, you kind of feel pressured mm -hmm. to like say something funny. And mm -hmm. even though there's no one like there watching, you yeah. can just do whatever you want with editing. Yeah. You feel like kind of pressured, and you have to be a certain way to like make yeah. someone. I was at a talk show yesterday, and there's a play there's a guy in the front telling you when to laugh. And goes, <laughs> really? Yeah. It's really weird. It's yeah. Like, it's a horrible feeling, but it, it, it somehow it works. <laughs> It works. It yeah. does. Which is why people do it. I mean, it, it makes people feel better when they're watching yeah. it. We told ourselves, uh, like, we're not fake laughing. A couple months anymore. back, yeah. like, like, dude. If I say something that I think is funny, will you try laugh, even if it's not funny? Yeah. You're only going to fake laugh with each other. That was rude. You, you're, uh, <laughs> shit, now I don't know anymore. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> but that's inspiring to share that kind of stuff. And uh, it's not easy. So, congratulations. I've never been fake, but I have, like, faked happiness. Like, mm -hmm. I fake, like, certain, like, things or emotions because, mm -hmm. like, Emotions come and go, mm -hmm. but like I, when I turn the camera on, I do kind of like sometimes I act happy, and yeah. like even though I'm not. I'm not gonna lie right now, I've got a major fucking headache. You do? Yeah, but I, I'm faking happiness. <laughs> I'm good. Sometimes having a headache makes me more creative. Yeah, the yeah. one thing. The one I just thing think is, telling the truth is really just like beneficial. You finally for, got a word. In. <laughs> it's just beneficial for everyone like around yeah. you. I hate to use the word, but like celebrities, people in the public eye, yeah. they they like act like someone that they completely aren't it's like literally it's so false it's it's, yeah. it's so easy so to you have see bad through. days yeah. like people are allowed to have bad days so if people watch them and they think their lives are perfect they're gonna think that they're not allowed to have bad days they're gonna have a bad day and be like what the f what's yeah. what's going on that's social media I, i've spoken about that a lot it's crazy yeah it's what so it does to you you can be truthful be honest it's uh yeah it'll help a lot of people out next game is to react to one of my uh first youtube videos let's do it uh, it's an old channel please don't judge me the sad thing is, I was around me. your age right now when I made these videos. So 17, I'll show you. 16, 17? I was 17. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you at the end. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that was pretty fake. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is just going so well without Grant. We don't have a film or anyone. Really? I can't be behind the camera Aww. and in front of the camera. I'll come season. do it. Really? I'm going to be here for like three months soon, so I'll come do that. I'll, yeah. be, your, I'll be your Grant. Just don't make fun of me. I won't. And no <laughs> naked runs around the office. Cause that's what I do. I get out of the shower and I run around naked. Dude, we do that every time I shower. Maybe I don't think this pit. can work. <laughs> we don't <laughs> do that. Yeah. We need naked runs. Yeah, it's um, fine. Tell me more about your family and what kind of family you want to have when you're older. My family is very supportive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, when we were going through all that stuff, like leaving school and everything, my dad was a superintendent, so very involved involved in like at school education. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. very involved in education. Um, probably one of the most laid-back superintendents in the world. Yeah. And my mom is a. Did hairy. he not f get rid of that teacher who screwed with you? He wasn't yeah. a superintendent of our school. Oh, okay. He was yeah, a couple school districts. Yeah. District. Yeah. My mom owned has owned a hair salon for like the past twenty something years. Oh, she has lovely hair. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know why I didn't inherit that hair from her. Because we are all siblings, by the way. Yeah, triplets. I don't want to say our, our mom is doing anything wrong, but she must have gone with someone really ugly to have me and then to have you. <laughs> like for me, I mean, not for you. You guys have your dad. Sorry. Oh no, is she watching this? Can <laughs> she hear me? She will watch it. I'm yeah. sorry. I was trying to be funny, sorry. <laughs> it happens. Happens to the best. <laughs> anyway, carry on. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, leaving school. Uh, that was like really complicated for yeah. all of us to process, I think. We Dude, it's weird, like, our parents had to say- 15! Yeah, our parents ah! had to say, we're gonna send our 15 year old kids out to Los Angeles. Like, the number one place where people like, get fucked up and yeah. like, Ruin their lives. Yeah. We were really involved with sports. We mm -hmm. wanted to play Division One in college, and then like I honestly wanted to be a pro. What the hell does that mean? Division, Division One is like the, the top notch, the top notch like, athletics in, co in college. Yeah. Yes. Play so football. We wanted to play football. Wrestling. We played football, wrestling, and lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Between honestly any of those, we were like yeah, really yeah. Into each one. And so my dad was like super sports, sports, sports. Mm -hmm. My mom, my mom was more like, do what you want. My dad was very into sports. So when we were leaving school, my dad's like, okay, this is no more sports. Like. I thought we were like, you guys were going to go to a college, whatever, mm -hmm. like to play sports. And then, I don't know, it's obvious like a dad wants to see their yeah. son being like tough and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we, we realized that we've been making these videos since we were like in third grade too, as well as playing sports. So yeah. they, they kind of understood. And then third grade. the people like picking on us at school and everything, it just started to get like, we had some yeah. crazy kids, like kids we get suspended for bringing knives to school, like trying to make like their own homemade guns and bombs oh, and weird stuff. God. Those are like, the kids who like hated us. 
Like, the, the, yeah. that crowd. Like, they did not like us the for some reason. The worst thing we did was throw rubber bands at each other. Yeah, it was a big school, so there was, like, a lot of different yeah. people. And, yeah, they didn't like us for some reason, Those the, the kids who did that, that weird stuff. Do you guys want to have families? Do you want to live in the same place when you do have families? I don't know where yet, but we want to get, like, a, a big chunk of land and then build two houses on that s- same chunk of land and then be, like, like be neighbors with the same school. address. That or, like, so good. Have a tunnel line. underneath. Yeah, and then, like, have kids at the same time, and then they're going to look like twins. And, uh, they, and be best friends and stuff. Do you have, we to, have, it all, do you have to find well, partners who look at the same? Well, our twins. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we literally have twin cousin kids. Absolutely. Can we do a search, guys? Okay, if you uh, want to get with the Dolan twins and you are twins, we'll do a hashtag. <laughs> twins That's with Dolan so twins. bad. What, um, what kind of age group do you date? I don't think age really has, has much to do with it. I mean, yeah. so I'm 17, so I can... If someone dates you who's over 18 and you guys sleep together... What's a sleep does? What's a sleep? Yeah, how to sleep? It's like a bed. With and someone... you guys go in the bed together and you do things. Do what? Oh, I can't actually tell you because you guys are 17. Yeah, I don't really know anything about okay, we'll that, keep that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I don't... It's like... What do you want me to say? Um, what do you want me to say? Yes, they go nah, to jail. Do, when it's like a creepy age difference and like, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do that. It's not safe. You know, mm-hmm. I just feel like people who are older take advantage of younger people mm-hmm. because the other, younger people are like trying to be like yeah. cool or mm-hmm. like act older. And, yeah. And Basically, mm-hmm. most people coming on the show only come on because I give them an opportunity to plug. We're, we're pretty boring. Your channel? We just got a new air conditioning unit. Yeah. Do you want to plug that? Yeah. So we got a new air conditioning unit. It's like the pro power or something like that. It's good. It's like it we're not working with wait, them or so anything. You know, it's I was not, so, it's not I, your much. No. no. Then why, I, why are you plugging it? I don't know, dude. I was sweating my tits off while I was filming. And now, <laughs> yeah, now it's chill. Now it's chill, dude. So you just, it's nice temp in here, huh? That's awesome. Yeah. So, so we just become sponsored by Pro, pro What? Uh, you don't even have to say the name. It, it's just we got a new air conditioning. Okay, we, new air conditioning. Get one at home. Get air conditioning so, if you. <laughs> so, well, yeah, you also have a YouTube channel, so you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have that yeah, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got us there. Um, we have social media everywhere: Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Awesome. Okay, um, now you're overdoing it. So you're taking the piss. Vote for us for Teen Choice Awards is over by the time this comes out. Anyway, oh, yeah, the Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> It'll be over. I want to surf that so badly, but you said it's made out of cheaper surfboards. I don't know yeah. exactly. I don't know. I think you can. You can. I just don't want to. I don't want to risk it. it. Yeah. I don't want to scuff it up. You know. You're gonna get another one tomorrow or the next day. Hopefully. The final. Final F. This is fun, dude. I don't want it to end. You don't want it to end. No. Aww. The way you said you, you went, I don't want it to end. It sounded like you said, I want it to end. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So our final F uh, is fulfillment. I'm finding it hard in my head to figure out how you guys are going to be fulfilled. You're 17, you're on top of the world. But I guess you've realized at a young age that it's not going to be like possessions and stuff and fame and yeah. stuff. So what, what do you think is going to get you fulfillment? I think I want to go to outer space when I'm older. We're put here like on this minute little speck in the universe, and like I just want to explore more. Mm-hmm. That's so weird. That's like a trippy thing to say. I'm so not that's even, like, so. Uh, okay, basically, this series is called Life After YouTube or Late or Lay, depending on if you're JJ or Joe or whatever. You just so said that was that, random. I no, no, that's cool. It's fine. So you said you want to go out of space. That's not YouTube. really gonna fulfill me. I don't know. It might. It might. I might meet an alien. <laughs> the like, answers or something. It yeah. would. Because everyone's answers, confused. Cause I, don't I don't know. Who really, is confused. I think know? about the meaning of life you way think, too much. You think people on YouTube are confused right now? I think no. Everyone in the world is confused about what life is. I yeah. mean, there's religion and stuff that I do. I do believe in some of my, my stuff. I don't preach it because it's like I don't want to preach it. Yeah, no we were talking about knows. the Matrix last time I was here, and how I was saying that we're probably already living in the Matrix. Dude, he has this conspiracy. I have a weird conspiracy, yeah. but it might bum people out. That's fine. I don't know how long Earth has been around. It's like mm-hmm. something. How many billion years? Four point two or something. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so, so yes. like, just, wrong, just wrong. Like, it's your fault. see how far we've come in the past like ten years. We created like touchscreen devices that like read your fingerprints. Satellites in space like orbiting certain like areas and mm-hmm. whatnot. What if Earth was around for another like a hundred million years or a million years even? Because of how fast like humans are advancing, we'd probably be able to create like another Earth or planet and yeah. send it in orbit around the sun. Yeah. And then life can like start on there. So like, what if like humans who like lived way longer ago, like maybe a hundred million years I've longer, us created Earth us. and us. And they, maybe that's what we call God. Like, I do believe in a God. Yeah. And I, it's just so weird because there's no there's no. Bro, you just dropped some serious fire. Dude, that is, right? That's crazy. It sounds logical because, like, like four point well, bi- yeah. something billion years. It's going to bum people out because, it's like, not, religion. Why does that bum you out? That makes me happy. And, right? I feel like it's, like, it's easier because then you just, like. Is that a religion? Probably is. No. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know much Dude, about religion. I'm, gonna, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Dolan religion and I can be the first priest. <laughs> Bless you, I just, Dolans. I just said, yeah, I don't know. That's just like a weird That's conspiracy awesome. I have. Maybe it's starting your own religion will make you fulfilled. I'm not really religious. I yeah. let people believe what they want to believe, whatever makes them happy. Dude, yeah. you guys are the best. Everything that I've been blessed with is, is for a reason. Mm-hmm. All the hardships and all that stuff to get through is just to prove myself worthy of, you know, I guess my blessings and stuff like that. And I yeah. just, I, my main goal 
and what I, not the, like, I do things for myself, everyone does, you know, you have to, or else you're, like, gonna go yeah. insane, but, like, everything I do, I can <gasps> say is, the background, ah, oh, it's, back. It's, it's back, it's back, oh, okay. thank you, it's Sorry. different, though, oh. okay, so everything I do is for, I'd say my fans and for others, I think I think of myself, like, as a, I'm, yeah. I'm a pretty selfless person, yeah, yeah. Right. so I, I want to be. I learn from you. I don't know if I'm gonna be fulfilled. <laughs> oh so selfish. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. No, be... Casper's not selfish at all. Oh, from right. what I've, what I've, what I've from learned. Two okay, days. Okay, okay, okay. From the two okay. days. No, dude. We so got I don't think I'm gonna be fulfilled ever, which I don't think anyone really. Maybe I will. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the future holds, but um, I don't know. I want to be yeah. a, a point where, like, one day I have enough where I can create multiple different things, whether they're companies or. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they are, to, to like to be constantly helping people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even when I'm sleeping at night, I can be helping people. Yeah, you got and I feel like the... YouTube is the first is the first step with that. Like people say that they watch my videos and it makes them feel better, and like they could yeah. be watching them when I'm asleep, and that, that makes me feel good because like it's thing I'm not doing, yeah. but I'm doing. But like YouTube does kind of constantly wear on me. Yeah. You know, like I'm constantly thinking, what's the next idea? What's the next idea? When I don't have an idea, I'm like yeah. really stressed out. Right now, we're getting like ahead of ahead of schedule with our videos and yeah. stuff like that. So that, that's awesome. That's YouTube, like, is, YouTube is sick when you have ideas. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have ideas, you're thinking of ideas, and then you're thinking of other <laughs> bullshit, yeah. and then you're thinking well, of like. Well, but that's relative. Overthink. That's every. Yeah. I think everything is relative. When people look at me and they say like, "Oh, you must be like living the life you're this age in, in LA," and I'm like, "Yeah, like it." I should be right, yeah. and am I ungrateful for not feeling like I am mm -hmm. sometimes? Yeah. But everything's relative. Like, it's like, say someone has like you know someone the richest person in the world and the poorest person in the world. The poorest person in the world doesn't really have to worry about money because they don't really have any, and the richest person in the world like has to worry about money because they have it. But the thing yeah. is, they're ending up. Saying, everyone has their right. own worries. But the thing and is, it's going to be relative. They're all ending up in the same place. Yeah. What are you working for on this earth if everyone's going to die? Yeah. You're ending up in the same place no matter what your financial position is, no matter what kind of life you live. Everyone goes to the same place. Yeah. So right. what is what is success really? I showed you my video earlier when I was your age, and you guys are having these conversations when you're this age. It's incredible. Like, wow. I can sit with you all day. Like, this is awesome. You guys... This is fun, yeah. I'm truly inspired. I think that's my favorite background. Sorry. Dude, I'm, I'm saying I'm truly inspired and you're being ADD, all right? <laughs> Sorry, man. <I'm, laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much. Um, thank you, dude. I appreciate it so much. We're going to film a video on your channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if these will come out the same time, but if if they're not, Probably. ours comes out like tomorrow. So <laughs> awesome! Ours gonna be a fun. I want to get some subscribers. <laughs> this is so fun, though. Dude, um, I love doing. Thank you so much. Well, we'll do it again soon, and uh, yeah. I w I kind of use this to inspire people because you can go from this to something a little bit better. I hope. <laughs> How's it going, Dick of Africa? Here, right now, I'm thinking about studying because we have exams coming up, and I really want to do well. Wait, was that your actual accent back then? <laughs> no, no, so yeah, basically, I was, say, yeah. I was so insecure about using my own voice, I could not speak to the camera. Really? So I put on this character called Dick of Africa. You sound like a dick of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go, hi guys, Dick of Africa here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Did you ever have to put on voices? We did. Our first series, Bob and Rob. Yeah, the like, first dang, season, yeah, we did not dude. react to yet. We had, we had voices. It's a scuba diver out of water that does laser eye surgery. There we go. It's something everyone does. He said I got ADHD. He didn't take me to the doctor to find out or anything because that would have cost too much. You think it's a good thing? Like, some may call it a disorder, but I'd call it a blessing. And like, Wait, I'm sorry to pause. Was this inspired by Fred at all? Bro, you guys finally got it. Yeah? It yeah. Was. So Don't were be we sorry to pause, bit. by the way. We were a little I bit too in our beginning we were stuff. Too. I mean, we talked in like the, the high pitched voice. Yeah. But like, you were RH here, but the like, the times were so different back then. Like, this was like quality back then. <laughs> I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's This got uh, 60 dislikes. No, maybe it got like six dislikes and like but four still, likes. Like, but the only, you couldn't <laughs> have seen anything better produced because <laughs> it wasn't, you know? Yeah, I, I was definitely inspired by Fred. Fun to be around him, Mark. It's like, I'm more creative than all my friends. Yeah, but it's, it's really hard when it comes to this time of year, like November. Because then we have to all study because we all want to do well. I just can't study. I just can't concentrate for that amount of time. So, I decided to ask my, my school counsellor what I should do. And he said, Dick, I think it would be a great idea for you to go into a dose of Ritalin once a day. I'm gonna take my first dose of Ritalin right now, so I can concentrate and do well in school. <laughs> but like, it's really nerve-wracking because there's lots of controversy behind. Stuff is like, yeah, this stuff is very. You just said it, very controversial nowadays. Like yeah. back in the day, you could be like, oh, like meds. Like I remember, yeah. friends, I was like my meds. But like, yeah, it's like 
I feel like I I think meds for allergies. You can't say that. Yeah, 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 yeah I feel like yeah, everyone's yeah. always got a thing to say. The injury, the, it, it's probably just because it's when you're smaller more... as well. When you're yeah. just starting out, yeah. I didn't know. And and um, my other video I reacted to like a few weeks ago was I was saying the most terrible things, but that's because I was playing a character as well. So. Yeah, yeah, acting is different because you don't mean it. You know, you say it for like the. Yeah. Whatever you say it for, like it, it, it has an effect. Like it's entertaining. But, but like, your intentions are just to make people laugh. Exactly. Yeah. It's not like it's not to hurt. And it's not working yeah. really. You're it? not like I'm gonna make this video because I have so much hate in my heart it's for people working. who have ADHD. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're making the video to try and make people laugh. You're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. Exactly. Wow, it's come down my throat. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it weird the ideas you have Everything's like when you're little? Yeah. Even ideas from two weeks ago that I thought of, I'm like, what, the, what was I thinking? <laughs> so true. You haven't aged a day, Casper. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> High production. Yeah. Addicted to studying. 12.30 in the app, mate. <laughs> yeah, because it was still the day, obviously. I didn't wait for night time. Were you really proud of this after you made it? Yeah. So basically, you just took like ADHD prescribed medicine and fixed it. And I stopped playing chess. That was really, that was really dope. That was the whole video. Yeah.